Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, Cuterebre. What are they? How do they spread these nasty little worms? And how does a veterinarian fix it if your cat or dog has a Cuterebre infection? Cuterebre are larvae from the bot fly. The bot fly flies around and it deposits its larvae near where rodents live and rabbits. So, you know, next to the opening of a rabbit hole or somewhere where these rodents or rabbits live. Dogs and cats are accidental hosts. So what the bot fly wants to happen is it wants to lay its eggs and the eggs, you know, grow into larvae which get inside of the skin of these rodents and rabbits. But what happens sometimes as a cat or a dog chases these rabbits and they stick their nose down the rabbit hole, all the cuterebre or bot fly eggs get pushed into their face or their neck. And when that happens and the bot fly eggs hatch into larvae, they crawl under the skin in the cat or the dog. And that's how you get a cuterebre or bot fly infection in a cat or dog. What a veterinarian is going to notice is as the cuterebre develops uh, under the dog's or the cat's skin, and cats are more common to have this problem, guys, as it develops, you will see a breathing hole form. So there'll be a little hole right in the skin, and if you look close enough, you can actually see the bot fly larvae come up to breathe on occasion. Super gross, but pretty fun to find. Most pet owners, when they roll in, they're like, Hey, Dr. Dan, I think my doggy, my kitty, has a skin infection. And as I fan through the fur and I find the problem area, I will look for that little breathing hole, and I'll just stare at it for a moment till I see that little cuterebre, that little worm, that little larvae, come up for a nice, fresh breath of air. When I see that, I know what I have. I have that cuterebre infection because that cat, that dog, was chasing a rabbit or some kind of rodent and ran back to that animal's house or hole and just put its nose down there and got infected that way on accident. The cuterebre doesn't mind if it's an accident. The cuterebre is just happy to have a host. And we are happy to remove that cuterebre from your cat or dog. What I like to do, and every veterinarian is different, I like to give a sedative to the doggy or the kitty, and when they're completely sleeping, I like to shave and clean the area, and then make a little incision, and then just gently pull the cuterebre out. It's important we don't want to tear or break the cuterebre, because that will cause even more inflammation, and I want to make sure I get that entire larvae out of the cat or dog skin or sub -Q. Once I get that little thing out, I'm going to scrub and flush, and I'm probably going to save it because I want to show the owner how cool it is, and gross. I'm going to flush it and clean it. If I need to, I'll remove any dead or damaged tissue. If it's really a big hole, I may reduce it a little bit inside with a suture or two, but usually, usually, we want to leave it as open as possible because we want that to drain and clean because it, guys, it's really dirty. And no matter how much I clean it, if I close it, I'm going to cause a problem. So the veterinarian is going to leave it open so it can drain. There is a great chance your doggy kitty is going to do really well. The veterinarian will give some pain meds, an antibiotic 100% because that thing is gross and infected. And now that the worm, the cuterebre is out, the bot fly is gone, and the infection is being treated, in most cases it heals up beautifully and looks great. You just have this nightmare story of your dog or cat getting a cuterebre under their skin. If you believe your cat or dog has a cuterebre, look really closely at that skin. Like, look really closely. And if you can see something moving, coming up for a fresh breath there, kind of like a whale surfacing, not as majestic as that, but kind of the same logic. You may even be able to diagnose it at home, but never remove it at home. Go see your veterinarian, get it taken out, and solve that problem. If this was helpful, guys, if this leveled up your veterinary knowledge, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, and you guys all have a great week. Take care.